Hey guys, so I wanted to make an update video for my Steam trading card farming tutorial that I made a while back because I noticed that a lot of people are having trouble using that method and specifically having trouble signing in. And that's because the process has changed a little bit since then. So I wanted to make a new video to just start from scratch, show you guys the new process, which is pretty similar to the old one, although there is one major difference. So I'm gonna get started real quick here. And the first thing that you wanna do is install Idle Master Extended version 1.5. So in my old video, I was using version 1.4 and we wanna make sure we use the new version now. So I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description down below and then also update the link on my old video so that people make sure that they get the right version. So on this page, you wanna scroll down and go to the download section and then press on direct download. And that's gonna start your download for a zip file. You can locate that under downloads and I have two of them, so we'll just delete this. And then you also want to extract it. So we can just right click it and press extract here. Once you've done that, you'll see this new folder and we can open that up. But don't open up this application yet because there's two things that we have to do first. The first thing that we have to do is log into Steam on our computer. So we can do that right now. Just double click on your Steam icon and then sign in as you normally would. For me, I have to put in this code for the Authenticator app, so I'll do that right now. And that's pretty much it for that. Second thing that you want to do is actually log in on a web browser. So I recommend using Google Chrome. This tutorial is going to be specifically for Chrome, although I know it does work also on Edge and probably on Firefox. So make sure you go to store.steampower.com and log in as you normally would on this site as well. So username, password, and you have to put in your code. So I'll do that right now. And that's it for that. So this is the point where it gets kind of complicated and definitely different from before. So if we open up Idle Master, the problem that a lot of people were having is signing in. So when you press sign in, you, you do this, right? And then you press on the sign in button, it doesn't do anything. So the way you have to sign in now is a little bit different. So what we have to do is go to our browser, press F12, and that's gonna open up your developer console. And on here, go to the application tab on the top. If this doesn't show up automatically, just press the two arrows and you'll see a drop down, and you can select it from that. Now once on the application tab, you're gonna see the name column and the value column. These are the two that we care about. We're gonna take a couple values from here to log in. So on Idle Master, press on File, go to Settings, and then click on this lock button on the bottom. And that's gonna open up a couple text boxes. So the first thing that we have to fill in is the session ID. And we can get that from over here, right under session ID. So just double click the value, copy it, and paste it in. And then we also want the Steam login. And we can get that from Steam login secure. So just copy that and paste that in as well. Now we don't care about Steam parental, so we can just click on update. And it's going to say that it's not valid, but check this out. It actually is. So we can close this, close this, and as you can see, we're signed into Idle Master. So from this point forward, everything is basically the same. You can just run this, and it'll automatically get cards for you. As you can see on Steam, it says that I'm playing Dead Island, even though I don't have it downloaded, and obviously I'm not playing it. If you're not getting cards quickly, you might have to close Idle Master and start it again. And also sometimes the cards are not awarded until you close Idle Master. So you might close it and then get a bunch of cards. Also one setting that you wanna change is go to File, Settings, and right under here, select Idle Games with more than two hours individually and then simultaneously if fast mode's not working. Normally fast mode is the best, but if it's not working, switch it over to this one and then try it again. See, watch, if I close this, it's probably gonna give me a card. As you can see, it popped up in my inventory. We have one card. It takes a while to load on Steam, but there we go. So that's all I have for this video, guys. Hopefully this helped those of you who are stuck on the sign-in process, and I'm gonna consider removing my old video, but if a lot of you guys are coming from that, hopefully I could help you out. So thanks for watching, and please leave any comments down below.